What's going on everybody? Gunner here. Uh, I am in Mexico with Nomadic Waters fishing at the Angler's Inn Lodge and that right there is sunrise on Lake Picachos. So real quick for this masterclass, I want to narrate some finer points of the two-hand retrieve. So first off, notice low rod tip. Rod tip's nice and low to the water. There's not some big bow. There's really not a lot of line bounce. His rod tip isn't left or right, but it's right at the line, right at the fly. So you're as direct as possible. Beautiful cast. And it's just under the arm, hand over hand. And the beautiful thing about that is when you miss a fish, like Mike just did, your line stays in the water, your fly stays in the water, and it stays hunting. When you guys watch a lot of the, the videos, I'll try to find the specific videos to put in this one, you're gonna see you get bumped, you get bumped, and then boom, you stick them. And in a situation where you don't have that hand over hand, under the arm, two hand retrieve, when you get bumped, you almost always lift the rod and you pull the line, you pull the fly way away from the fish, you pull the line out of the water, you ruin the presentation. If a fish is trying to kill something and he, he grabs it and it gets away and he, he tries to grab it again, the two hand is perfect because everything stays right in line, right in front of the fish, it just juts right in front of him. You feel the tension, but you never displace the fly out of the way. And then of course the, the added benefit is the strip set is guaranteed and it becomes very economical to do so it's absolutely perfect so it's there look at that on demand stripped right into it i saw him use this technique in brazil and that was the first time i kind of saw it in uh really anything besides the saltwater application and it was very awkward for me and i didn't want to do it i didn't want to do it in brazil i just did straight strip you know single hand strip retrieve and What's interesting is I've been practice casting in my yard. And if you watch any of my practice casting videos, I do a two hand retrieve to bring it in. Cause if it's an 80 or 90 foot cast, that's a long time to just strip, strip, strip. And practicing my casting made holding the rod and stripping very comfortable. And if you look at Michael, you can see where he puts the rod under his armpit. Cause you use the reel and the position of the reel basically as a counter, a counterweight to point the rod tip down you could you know if he put that back way far his rod tip would be a way up he tucks it right close to the reel rod tip goes straight down right towards the water everything's direct perfectly connected super prime tight and we're hooking fish it's, it's it is probably my favorite still water hand over hand retrieve because you can do it fast you can do it slow if you watch the popper uh technique video for strip setting you can do strict single hand strip, really hard strips, picking up slack, and you're still in the perfect position to strip into a fish. So, hope that helps you guys out. I hope that helps narrate a little bit of the finer points of the hand over hand, two hand, retrieve into the strip set with proper technique. Now, for my own entertainment, I'm gonna just dump the end of this video full of strip sets, because I love, it's my favorite thing to watch on camera is a properly executed strip set. So what it is, is simply setting the hook with the fly line. Why? A few things. One, proper critical angle. When I put that rod under my arm. I have my rod tip pointed directly at my fly. My rod tip is more or less down. I have a very minimal belly. I have no lateral slack whatsoever. So I am as connected as I can be to that fly in that system. Now, as I strip into that fish and I hook him and then I displace that rod, 
The displacement of the rod has nothing to do with the hook set. It's just adding some tension so that he doesn't have slack. It's just a very accidental thing your body does. But when you strip that in, as soon as I go into that rod, everything is critical angle. I have, I'm loading that rod from the butt all the way to the tip. I don't have a super high trout set, which is low critical angle, all tip flex, very easy to snap your rod to. Second thing to consider is it keeps my fly line in the water. So there's always water tension on that fly line. If you stick that fish and he goes left to right, if you pick it up and he goes left to right, your fly line's in the air and it's all slack and wavy. If you strip set and that line is in the water and it has water tension on it, he can't create slack against the line. He can't spit the hook. Now obviously this is designed, especially when you have low stretch fly line cores, braided cores and things like that, uh, it drives hooks home into bony mouth fish with large diameter, large wire gauge hooks, right? So maximal penetration, maximal hookup, maximal efficiency. Well, you'll see when I strip into a lot of those fish, I don't stop, I, I hand line the fish. I'll strip and strip and strip and the fish is on and the fish is on and the fish is on. There is zero hurry, zero hurry to get on the rod, none whatsoever. Understand what the rod's purpose is in fighting a fish as far as tiring them out, yes, but as the rod is doubled over, it absorbs head shock and if the fish comes at you, it picks up slack to keep tension on the hook so that they can't spit it. That's a rod's purpose. Absorb shock and pick up slack. That's what they do. And so when you set that hook, understand that, uh, especially with the two-hand retrieve, you're literally as tight as you can be. You're in the least slack position that you have ever been in when that fish eats that fly. And as soon as you strip that thing home and just kind of twist your body, you can handline them all the way to the boat for all I care. There is zero issue, zero hurry to get on that rod. What you do not want to do is think that the fish eats and you have to somehow hit the rod and get into that rod and set the hook with the rod. Absolutely incorrect technique. That's kind of an absolute thing to say, but I, I, I believe it's very incorrect. What you want to do is just keep that thing, bury it down, and just strip into that fish, strip after strip after strip. I'm going to put this before the content because it's very important that you understand that. There's no hurry whatsoever to get on that rod. Now check it out. <laughs> Yours is a wee bit bigger. Well, I didn't want to say anything. But... <laughs>